Hi folks, I've got this Garmin E-Trex H um, Cool wee device just for uh, GPS navigation um, Tracking, things like that It's quite cool The only thing is You don't actually get a cable to connect to your computer with it It does have the output But you still need an interface cable So I'm going to make one um, they're about twenty pounds to buy, so I'm just going to make one, um, and this is a video of how I'm going to do that. So what I've got here is a nectar card, just an old nectar card. Well, it's actually a new nectar card. I just went into a BP station and just says I want a nectar card, and it just gives you it. So, um, reason being is it's a very very good fit for sliding in there. So I'm going to cut it to suit this size. And then I'll put some contacts on it. Now I've figured out the, the connections here. And then I'm just going to talk you through how I'm going to do it as well. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll make that just now. The cable I'm actually going to make is, is going to be a, from the Garmin to a USB. Because the one you buy is from the Garmin to a serial port. A lot of computers don't have serial ports anymore, so I've got a, an actual interface between a USB and serial cable, and all I'm going to do is make a plug with this credit card or this card here, any card, it doesn't matter, any plastic card, they're all about the same thickness, and make that go to the serial, a female serial port. So all I'm doing is just shaping the card now just to suit the Garmin itself so the only three I need I don't need the one at this side the only three I need are the ones at this side so what I'll do is I'll put a wee centre line on them ok the smallest drill I had wasn't very small comparison with the, the wire so what I've done is I just got a, a pointy screw an old pointy screwdriver uh, heated it up and just poked it through just to very very tip through so I can keep the holes as small as possible uh, once I've done one I decided I was going to put another one as well um, and that way the contact consists of the wire going out one side and back into the same side so it, uh, if that makes sense you'll see in a minute in the photo anyway or here uh, and all I've done was because it's soldered ends they're quite tough now so I just bent the end over um, and that way it holds it in place I then just put some uh, plastic uh, plastic glue off a hot glue gun uh, as you can see here just to hold everything in place so it doesn't move It also gives the card a wee bit of rigidity as well, just so that it doesn't bend or flex. So that's one end done. I'm just going to do the other end now. And all I did was got some really thin straws. And all it was is uh, the straws from aerosols, just for directing the flow. Um, I left the, the ends unsoldered, popped them in, and then squeezed them onto the actual terminal itself. Uh, you'll see what terminals are used shortly. I've only done three because I wasn't going to be using it as a, a charging point. It's purely USB um, interface cable. I'm not going to be using it for charging. So I left one of them free, which is a, the positive connection. The other two are uh, data in and out, and the neutral or a negative, zero volt line. So that's all I've done. Um, and I've used that to the USB. And then it's there, it works a treat. Um, and that now allows me to do a lot more than I could have possibly done if I hadn't had the interface cable. It should certainly be a, um, in the package. So this is the, the finished uh, article, just some close-ups so you can get terminals. And as I said earlier, it allows me to do all kinds of things now. And I saved myself £25 doing that. It took me about an hour. So I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you again.